Hi everybody and welcome to Mr. Charles on Instagram Live. Today we're going to be doing phonics sound I. Can you say I? Okay, so every week we're going to go live two or three times a week. So hello Josie, thanks for joining. Hello Shah and everyone's here. So today we're going to do phonics sound I. That's the sound of this week and it's the short I sound. Hello, Megazwaran in a Bali. Uh, everybody, if you join, just wave and say hi. You can also say where you're watching from because we always find that very interesting. We're in Hong Kong and um, we're going to do phonic sound I. That's a short I sound. For example, hit and sit. Um, when the long I sound, which is uh, like, as in like or kite. That's a different phonic sound altogether. So, I want you all to say it. Can you say it, it? Okay, great. Let's look at some things that begin with the it sound. Some things that begin with the it sound. The first one we've got here is it, it, insect. Can you see the insect? This is a fly with some big wings. And as you can see, it's got six legs. So it's an insect. Somebody's watching from Sri Lanka and Manila. I didn't know we had people from Sri Lanka, so that's a new one. Hello, Shah. Hello, Inabali Ni from uh, Manila. And let's look at another thing beginning with I. Uh, next, we've got iguana. I wonder if anybody has any iguanas living near where they live. We do. We have them in Hong Kong uh, and we have lizards. Some people keep them in their house to eat the flies. And the next one is... It, it inside can you see this is inside the uh, someone's house and we've got another one it it ink the pen is making ink it it ink hi from bali wow i was there a few years ago lovely place and the last one this is a famous tourist attraction in india it it india i wonder if we have we should have some people from india Vietnam, wow, we've got people from all over the place today. Um, let's try to make two sentences which feature the it sound. Are you ready? I've got my iguana here. Let me get my sentence. Uh, I've got an iguana and an insect. The iguana couldn't catch the insect. Oh no, that's why he's not happy. Look at him. The iguana couldn't catch the insect. And hello, Belep and Inason. I can't, I can't say your names very well. So I want you to say the sentence with me. Are you ready? The iguana couldn't catch the insect. Probably because he's facing the wrong way. Should we tell him to turn around? If this was a real iguana, I think he would catch him. Okay, and let's make another uh, sentence. But this time we're going to have three I sounds in it. See if you can... Th see the words, see if you can hear the words which begin with the I sound. Are you ready? The insect went to India to get some ink. Did you hear the three I words? Insect, India and ink. So the insect went to India to get some ink. Well, we already have 16 people watching. Hello everyone and I'm waving at everyone as we go. Uh, I want you to say that sentence with me. Are you ready? The insect went to India to get some ink. And these are phonics lessons are mainly aimed at children who are learning phonics and we record them all and we put them on our, on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is called Mr. Charles's Classroom and the link is in my Instagram description. So it's very easy to find. Now we're gonna look at some things which may or may not start, have the I sound in them. So what can we do first? Um, we've got bricks and sticks. Well, these two rhyme. Here's a bunch of sticks and here's a bunch of bricks. And a question I have for you later is, what do we use bricks for? And maybe even what do we use sticks for? If you, if you know, just send your ideas in the comments. And let's look at the next one. We've got kitten and hat. Which one has the it sound in it? So bricks and sticks both have the it sound. Kitten and hat. 
if you thought kitten, then you're right. Kitten has the it sound in it. A kitten is a baby cat, if you're not sure. See, it's a baby. And let's have a look at the next one. Bat and plate. Bat and plate. Which one has the it sound in it? If you thought, uh, sorry, this is not bat, this is hit. He's hitting the ball with the bat. So it's hit, hit and plate. Which of those has the it sound in it? If you said hit, then you're right. The boy, uh, the girl hits the ball with the bat. Why don't we say that sentence together? The girl hits the ball with the bat. Hit, yes, QR Lim, correct. Well done, you've uh, guessed hit. And the next one we've got mittens and we've got crack. Hmm, which one has the it sound, mitten or crack? Yes, mittens is another word for gloves, and that has the it sound, and it rhymes with kitten, kitten and mitten. So if you got them right, then well done. And we're gonna play another game. We are going to make some sentences. We're gonna ask you some questions based on things with the it sound. Here we've got some animals. Some of them are insects. What do you think about insects? Do you like insects? Are they funny? Or do you find them a bit scary and creepy? So, uh, I think butterflies and bees are okay. But uh, how about cockroaches and... Uh, cockroaches? Mm, maybe not so much. Uh, how about beetles? Who thinks, who thinks uh, beetles are nice? And who thinks they're a little bit creepy or scary? And somebody guessed mitten from the question before. Yeah, correct. So what do you think of insects? Do you think they're useful? Or do you think they're creepy or scary? Let's move to the next question. Remember before I asked you bricks, what do we use bricks for? So in your country, what do they use bricks for? In Hong Kong, we use it to build walls or even uh, buildings, a lot of houses. In UK, they build a lot of houses using bricks. And the last it word that I wanna talk about is chips. Chips are chips potatoes, and in England we call them crisps, but it's the same thing. Are they healthy or not? Are they yummy or not? What are your opinions? Let us know in the comments. So, sure, correct, you can build a house with bricks. So let's make a little sentence. You can build a house with bricks. Do you want to say that with me? You can build a house with bricks. Okay. Chips are quite yummy, but not too healthy. Don't eat too many chips or you might get fat. And let's have a look at the insects as the last thing I wanna do. Some insects are okay, some are a little bit creepy. Yummy, but not so healthy. Thank you, um, uh Correct, yummy, but not so healthy. So don't eat too many crisps, that's the main lesson for today. So for people who, who joined late, Today we did the phonics sound i, and if you join late and miss some, there'll be a recording put up on our YouTube very shortly. And I'll see you next week. We'll do Tuesday and Thursday for our live class again. See you next time. Bye bye.